Hi, my name is Hilary Jacobs Hendel. I'm an AEDP psychotherapist and emotions educator. I teach a tool called the Change Triangle that's universal and helps us all be with emotions. And this is part two of work with anger. Make sure you review part one, which helps us slow down to set the stage to working with anger. And now we can pick up where I left off, where think of something that has angered or annoyed you or enraged you that you want to work with. Uh, and what I mean by work with is understand it more, release some of it, figure out what to do with this feeling inside. And so as you bring up this thing that is angering you, bring up the memory, think about the situation in as much detail as you can. Maybe it's something your partner said or your child said or your parent said. And again, slowing way down, feeling your feet on the floor, your body relaxed in the chair making sure to breathe deep belly breaths like we learned in the last lesson in part one. Just scan your body head to toe as you bring up the situation and find what inside your body is letting you know that you're angry right now. What sensations tell you that you're angry? And give yourself a good 30 seconds to gently scan your body from head to toe and to notice one, two, or three sensations that tell you that you're angry. There's no right answer here. It's just getting to know yourself. doing great just keep noticing it takes a while for the body to let you know things sometimes your thoughts come much faster take deep belly breaths you may feel anger as energy coming up you may feel hot or tense in your jaw or tingly in your arms something in your core, how do you experience anger? Once you notice some, some sensations, zero in on what's most uh, evident, most, what you can feel most, and just connect to it. Don't go necessarily into it, but just notice it. How big does it feel? Just kind of notice the outline of it. Notice how, if there's energy, how it moves. If you feel anxiety or tension, just notice and validate that as inhibition. Right? You may struggle to feel anger, as we all do. And again, this is not about acting out anger. This is not about doing anything, talking to anyone, expressing your anger. This is for you to get to know your anger and to help it get some space so it can release. Now, when you find the sensation of anger that you wanna work with, just take a few deep breaths into it and imagine that you grow bigger so there's room for it to move. And just notice which way the energy moves. And notice that there may be an impulse, right? If you don't judge yourself for your anger and for what it wants to do, because anger is a primitive program, right? It, it's very black and white, it wants to punch, it wants to insult someone, it wants to shout, it wants to defend 
you. Just notice as you stay with the sensation of the anger, if there's an impulse towards the person who angered you. For example, if you could hold a microphone up to the anger, what would it want to do or say to the person who angered you? Just see if you can allow that into your awareness without judging, knowing this is not a dress rehearsal for action or for words you'll say. This is just for you, just between you and me to know what the anger wants to do. And if the impulse comes up, fantastic. Just validate, that's what my anger wants to do. It's understandable, somebody hurt me. And if you don't get anything, that's okay too. This takes practice and sometimes people process in different ways. Just validate yourself for trying. It's always excellent to try these things. Just spending time in your body is valuable. Now, if you found an impulse, just validate that. I see you, anger. I see what you want to do. And if it's something that you want to do back that's very hurtful, I see that somebody must have really hurt you, really made you angry. It's understandable that you, my anger, this part of me wants to retaliate in some way. And then, Lastly, the way you would show compassion to a hurt child or a hurt animal, shine a light of compassion towards yourself for feeling angry and for being hurt by somebody. Compassion doesn't mean you pity yourself. It means that you connect warmly. It's as though saying, oh, I see you that wasn't fair, that hurt. Just shine that type of a compassionate light to your anger, letting it know you see it and you will return to care for it. And in part three, we'll talk more about how you release the energy of anger. Right? All these emotions that we have have an energy because they make us move. That's what they're programmed to do, that emotions are there to make us move in ways that are adaptive for survival. Great job. Fantastic that you're interested in learning about emotions, specifically anger, which is a real tough one. Come back soon and learn more, or better yet, read or listen to It's Not Always Depression. It's a beach read on emotions that will teach you a lot about yourself and the people you love. Thanks for being here. Take care. Bye-bye.